Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today I'm going to showcase how to level up cooking very, very quickly. We have the chef recipe book right here, so you guys can actually take a look at the recipes of each. I'm not going to go too into detail on the recipe book because there's two methods we're going to use here today. At level one, the first thing you're going to notice is you're not going to have this chef's bounty board unlocked. However, I'm level nine, so I'm going to showcase what this looks like. So you have two basic omelets as a recipe. You have sausage and mash, uh, four basic vegetable stews and seven basic bacon sandwiches as soon as you have this unlocked you should be utilizing this to gain more xp and more money um, but for now as a level one cook we're going to say uh, i kind of want to showcase what you should be doing to level up cooking right away this is going to be very quick and you're also going to gain a little bit of money off of this as well so you're going to come over to kevin and i have already done this so i'm not gonna, actually going to buy anything this time but you're going to buy 12 breads you're going to buy 12 bacons you're going to run right back into the uh, kitchen so as we run up to the kitchen, the first thing you're going to do is actually use this bacon to make bacon sandwiches. And it's a very, very simple concept. You're going to use the frying pan right here. Um, so we're going to put these right on into the frying pan. And then we're going to go to the preparation table and uh, use this to make, like I said, bacon sandwiches. So very, very simple. Um, let me look here. So if you actually look, basic sandwiches or bacon sandwiches unlocks at level zero. So you can do it right away. You could also start doing other recipes as well, but this I found to be the easiest. And if you're not wanting to do a lot of fishing and running back and forth and banking, this, like I said, is the easiest. So we're going to go through this frying pan, basic raw bacon, bacons, and, uh, we're going to kind of speed up this process of the preparation table here in just a second. So we're actually going to click the preparation table and use item. We're actually going to use the bread over here on the preparation table. So again, you want 12 of each because that is going to be 24 slots in your backpack. You want to utilize all 24 slots. So let's speed this up. Okay, so what you may not know as well, by the way, is if you look at your backpack, you can actually see what these look like and see how much gold you're going to be getting from them. So if I hit info, I'm going to see 560 uh, is the amount I'm going to sell these for. And when you want to sell them, you'll actually just go right on over to, once I click out of this, I love what, you go right over to the head chef and you can hit sell items and you can sell all of them very easily with the sell all button. It'll show you exact amount you're going to be getting. However, I want to showcase before we go on to the next method of leveling, I want to show you the bounty board and how this works. So let's say we want to take, um, okay, actually I didn't click the bacon sandwiches and say take, unfortunately I should have. Um, so they are not there anymore, but I definitely should have taken those when I had the chance. We're actually going to take this one then. And that was a uh, bacon, or sorry, not a bacon. That was a vegetable stew that we're going to be showcasing here in a second. So I did take that bounty right away. And you can actually take many bounties, by the way. So you should be checking on this board every once in a while and taking the bounties that you want to collect and bringing them over. So very, very useful. But let's go back to selling all of these then, like I said, we wouldn't do. Um, so we come over here and like I said, this is going to give you enough gold to actually make more than just your money back. You're going to make some money. Uh, but next at level eight is when you're going to switch recipes from the bacon sandwiches over here to Kevin still, but you're going to switch recipes over at uh, Kevin to just mixed vegetables. And this is the easiest of all of them by far. You're just going to fill your entire inventory with these mixed vegetables. So we got the mixed vegetables. We run back up. This is the easiest, like I said, of all of the cooking right now. It's just the most simple. It's the most AFK really, if you're doing something else on the side. So we go over here, we chop them all up basically. This is definitely gonna be sped up because it's 24 of them, so we'll be right back. Okay, so now that we've completed chopping up these mixed vegetables, we're actually going to bring them over here and use them on the boiling pot. So the boiling pot is going to be our next use. Come over here, like I said, bring them over to the boiling pot. It's going to give us some pretty good XP. And again, this is a very, very AFK method because it's 24 of those mixed vegetables you're putting in here, and it's going to take a little bit. So again, we'll speed it up one more time, and then we'll showcase how you turn these bounty boards in. We have three basic vegetable stews to the north walls. So that's going to give us 937 XP and four silver. And with that, you're going to make a decent amount of money as well as a lot of XP because you can see here, each one of these is just giving us 80 XP. And that's already after prepping them and then to putting them into the pot. So it's pretty good XP to make sure you do these bounties and turn them in. Oh, 
Okay, as we're finishing up the vegetable stews, boiling those vegetable stews, we're going to run straight over, like we said, to the north wall just to showcase what turning these in looks like. So uh, we got to level up to a level 11 chef. Um, of course, we are going to sell the rest of these stews, so I definitely should have done that right away um, in the kitchen so you're not wasting time running back and forth before you can buy more vegetables to continue the process. But uh, we're a little committed at this point, so we're going to turn these in at the north wall. And if you want, you can actually hit show on map. And they'll showcase exactly where the north wall is or, you know, if you're not used to the map yet, you don't know where you're going. It is very helpful. So running through here, we're in the old street east and uh, we have one more street to go by and then we're at the wall and we can turn in this bounty. Like I said, this is a very easy cooking method, though. A lot of people are utilizing the fishing or they're utilizing gathering in some way uh, to make their cooking go up in different ways. But uh, looks like we have another player here, actually, which is interesting because we are in the uh, beta, so it's nice to see other players in here. Um, but, oh, and I got attacked. So one thing you can do is turn immunity on or you can finish the kill, either one. Uh, but let's go back to the bounty. North wall, show on map. We are there. It's up here in the top left. You can see it in the top left. So let's run up. Take the ladder or the stairs. In this case, we're going to take the ladder. And then you just use it on them. Very, very simple as we climb there we go and we get a bounty and it's a lot of xp like i said you see that bar just fly around the corner very very good xp to use that bounty board when you can you like i said unlock that at level nine so take advantage you unlock the vegetables at level eight and then at level one you're going to do the bacon sandwiches so very very cool and if you want to throw in stuff from fishing you definitely can do that as well thank you guys again for tuning in make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on i'm going to continue to show you guys the best ways to actually level up in this game there's so many different routes and i want to show you the best xp per hour routes uh and i have a lot of comparisons coming up in previous or sorry future videos not previous videos so thanks again i'll see you all in the next one